Gerald Degree has worked in the logging business since he was just a kid and started his own company in 1975. It's hard work, but he says it's worth it. I like the woods, I like to be outdoors, and I like different aspects of my operation. I like running a bulldozer sometimes. I, I run a log truck more than anything else probably, but I do spend a lot of time in the woods cruising timber and lining up jobs for the for the machines to cut. Degree bought his first harvester in 1999, but before that the job was much harder. We used to do everything with, by hand with power saws and it'd probably take seven or eight guys to do the same amount of work that with power saws that the harvester does with, with one man running it. There again, it's like it's a very, very expensive machine, but it is capable of producing a lot of wood. Now Degree only needs three or four guys for a job, one to run the harvester and cut down trees, one to run the forwarder that brings the logs to the roads, and another to drive the logging trucks that takes the timber to its final destination. These high-tech gadgets make the job much easier, but it can still take over a month to clear 40 acres. It's a good business, you can make a good living, but it's very hard work and it's not something, it's not an eight hour a day job by no means. Lumberjacks may not come out with chainsaws and axes anymore, but logging is still a UP tradition. For ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Caitlin Conan.